Hello everyone and welcome back to another look at the West Coastway route for Train Simulator Classic free route. Link is below if you want to try it out yourself. Uh, BS version 1.7 has now released, uh, which does add scenery uh, between Shoreham and Lansing. There's also been a few improvements elsewhere as well. So pretty exciting stuff. So we're going to go for a run. We're starting at Brighton. We're doing our usual quick drive because... Well, there's not really any scenarios for this route yet, and the one I've made is too early in the morning, so it's sort of not great for showing it off. It's sort of half seven, it's quite dull, and as it's something new, I want to have a look. So we've also got Lansing Station there now as well. Um, I think the last one we showed off was 1.5, so there's been a few differences since. Uh, so I suppose see if you can spot them as we go along. Uh, let's get this set up. Uh, driver ID, I know, 7896. That will do. Just just random. Set it to forward. We won't get the doors open. Let's just assume they've already been opened. And off we go. So the track uh, track layout is still the same. Um, you can see it's only, it still goes as far as West Worthing. But I suppose that is... West Worthing will be the end of the fully released version 1. As at the moment we're in a preview version of it. But the, the actual full version 1 will be to West Worthing. So it's a sort of preview ones for now. Cool. So leaving Brighton Station. And yes, there are a few inaccuracies with the signals and stuff, which I've seen some other people mentioning. Um, they will be altered in due course as well, I believe, by uh, George. George will probably be watching, so if you can see George in the comments or in the live chat, feel free to say hello. So we'll sort of uh, zoom our way along to uh, West Worthing using the pause brake button to make it sort of look around anything which looks new. And I think, I don't know if this is actually included in this version. I think it is. Yes, I think it is included in this version. But the trackside grass, uh, which you can see there, I think, that's, I think that has been included in this version. I could be wrong, though. I think it is this one, though. So you can see there's been a few improvements to the... Um, sort of the way the grass looks as before it looked quite barren along here so that's been updated as we come out of uh, Hove Tunnel let's get back in there yeah so there's a little update to sort of the vegetation line side just making it look a bit nicer but it's coming together quite nicely uh, fairly frequent updates and if you want even more frequent updates to sort of know what George is working on Feel free to join the Discord server. There will be a link in the description. We've got a, a sort of an own West Coastway channel in there where George post updates what he's working on for the day, what he's done for the day. Uh, so feel free to uh, pop into there to have a look if you're interested. Yeah, so these I think it's these signals here. They're not quite correct. Um, and other ones which will be sorted at some point. Coming up on Hove. Cool. Which, yeah, still hasn't been completely done. Although at the moment it's cab scenery. So scenery you can see from inside the cab. Uh, so it's mostly the 313 and the 377. Or in the 700 you'd have quite more of a wide view. Uh, but yeah, so scenery is at the moment placed than what you can see from the cab. And also something which has been updated uh, since the last time we viewed... It's now using the North Somerset Railway speed boards, which are slightly more, well, better looking than the default speed boards. So their speed boards have been updated for slightly newer looking, uh, better looking ones. There's Aldrington. As we make our way along. So this bit, I suppose, we've sort of seen before. I don't know if the grass does look a bit better along here. I don't know if this bit actually was updated. And apparently there's also a British Ace Easter egg in here somewhere. Um, so an idea of what I'm looking out for. Uh, but apparently there's a little Easter egg for me in here somewhere. I doubt I'll be able to spot it as I'm not good at finding those sorts of things. But I feel like there is a bit more vegetation along the side since the last time we've uh, come on. Let's check Port Slayer. Am I, uh, is it like a little... Am I going to be somewhere around here or something, like a model of me? Oh, lovely. That is... That's good. 
No, that was there before, wasn't it? No, it wasn't. No. No, in the last version, that wasn't there, was it? Because it was. Uh, uh, that's one of one of the things I mentioned that the house was. Um, which yeah, I don't really don't worry about that too much. Um, yeah, that there's a pub here, and the sort of houses are up to the end, so that's been taken on board. So you've got a pub there now. Uh, you've still got the um, Audi there. And there's a slight more of. See, I'm I'm Port Slade. I used to live down this way, so. Um, so yeah, you've got the Audi here. There's a slight more of a gap here and you've got the car park there's a car park around the back here which as you can see has been partly placed in yeah i mean when you're driving the train that's fine so let's uh, unpause that as we make our way along let's fish this gate that's the next one along oh and you might spot it there we go uh, there's also now the um Oh, what's it called? Is it, is, it, is it a power station? I think it is Shoreham Power Station. I think it is. Or Shoreham um, Port. You can see the um, tower now coming out of uh, of there. So there's a few more requirements for the route now. And there's also a bit more detail as well within the um, gardens. Instead of just being all plain, there's a little bit more going on. Oh, there's a DVD going off. It's a slight more detail. Um, as well, which you can, which you can see, which is nice. Uh, it's uh, Southwick next. That's the next station along, which Southwick's now modelled. I think the last time we checked it, I think it was, wasn't it? Well, if it wasn't the last time we checked it, Southwick is now modelled. So you see, we have now got um, Southwick. There's not custom station signs because apparently that would mean it wouldn't like it because th because this route's on the Steam Workshop. You can't have like custom assets and stuff. So George has said in future he might upload it to his own website and then you can have custom, you know, signs and stuff in. And this is Southwick to Shoreham. Oh, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Yeah, so you've got more bit more scenery around the um Shoreham Port area now. Uh which is uh, which is pleasant to see. Um but yeah, this section here from Southwick to Shoreham doesn't have any scenery. It did, um, but apparently the data got corrupted, so pretty much all of it just had to be, well, scraps. So at some point we will see this section again. Um, so what he's done for now, he's just done Shoreham to Lansing. Um, so there'll be scenery after Shoreham again. So I do expect to see this bit again soon. Um, but yeah, I suppose it got corrupted. Don't really want to go and back do it all again straight away. So his works one, I suppose, a slightly easier section, um, which is Shoreham to Lansing, which is a slightly more, I want to say rural, but it's not really rural, but it's more sort of fields um, as we uh, come up to Shoreham. And also, I think the Ada Bridge has been redone as well. Well, there's been tweaks to it. The so Shoreham station has been modelled, but I know Lansing has been modelled. So you can see you've still got the um, sort of pillars here to mark the end of the platforms. So you can see a little bit more scenery around here as we come up to Shoreham. We'll do the usual pause break and then we can sort of explore it a little bit more. You can see the scenery loading in again. Just ignore this barren wasteland for now. It won't always be like this. It will get changed at some point. Cool, you've got the, um, this is, oh this actually looks fantastic. Hang on, as we uh, come up to it. Let's, let's, fly, let's fly ahead. So you can see you've got Shoreham, well the high streets down there, that's not been done just yet. The high streets actually where that bridge, there's a pub there. There's a pub on this corner here. Let's quickly just pause that again. Yeah, so you'd, ha you'd have a pub just here, although this bit hasn't been modelled just yet. It probably was, but then, yeah, it got corrupted. Um, you've got the bridge going across. Yeah, you've got some boats placed on the uh, on the sandbank. That's nice, because that does happen in real life, because it's a tidal river. So the um, tide comes in and, and out on here. Bridge has been redone as well. Um, what else we got? And then you've got, yeah, you've got Shoreham Airport here little uh, tower there as well but where's that little easter egg we gotta find it oh you got a plane take oh, look at that you even got a plane taken off as well that's nice 
some flights do actually take off from shore. Not meant not you know massive commercial airliners like that one there, um, but some flights. I think to Alderney. I'm looking out for a little Easter egg. I reckon it's round here somewhere. I probably will miss it. But maybe it'll be here as we come up to uh, Lansing. Yeah, so it is cab scenery. So when you're in the cab, well, I suppose if you're looking forward, th there's scenery. Cool. Let's um, let's pause break it again, just so we can have a little look and see planes there. So yeah, I mean, for now that's fine. Um, I mean, it's an airport, but you don't actually get big commercial jets going there. Um, but yeah, for now that's fine. I'm not really. Um, that's that's fine. But yeah, this is um, Shoreham Airport. So sort of using the assets which are available on hand. Pretty decent, I'd say. You got the little control tower down there. Or the ATC tower. Um, <laughs> is it a I think it's a funnel, but it, it does the job. It does the job. When I first saw that, I was thinking it was a uh, ATC tower. Um, so yeah, for now, I think that looks pretty decent. Obviously, this is a preview version of it. It will get changed in future, I'm sure. So I can't really be too picky. Let's um, unpause that. As I come up to Lansing, uh, which should have should have a station and the signal box there as well. Cool. Oh, there we go. Seems a little bit barren on that side, but I suppose that bit's probably possibly still being worked on. I mean, all of it's still being worked on, so. More, there was some props placed, a couple of tractors there. I oh, still, where's that Easter egg? It's going to be somewhere. As we come up to uh, Lansing, got some moves there. Football fields. This is actually the. Um, this is the Brighton and Hove Albion's training ground. This is the uh, Lansing or Shoreham Training Centre. It's here, state of the art facility. Um, you've got like a massive indoor football tent and stuff which probably won't well probably in some way might be able to be modelled um, I suppose that's probably more of a custom asset if anything I always have to see how it gets on let's um, unpause that so this is Lansing we're coming up to let's get back in there but if anyone has got any reference material any sort of assistance jump in the discord, ping George send it over, DM him, I know so this is Lansing Station. He has mentioned that this footbridge is the wrong way round for now. Uh, but I suppose that could get changed in the future. Let's uh, pause break that again to have a little look at Lansing Station. So yeah, this is Lansing. Uh, been through here quite a few times, stopped it. I mean, it looks looks up to scratch. Uh, and you've got the signal box here as well, which actually don't look too bad. Um, Considering it's, I suppose, lots of assets sort of bundled together, which are readily available. Now, that's not too bad. Uh, I suppose not really anything. I can well. I don't know Lansing that. Well. Lansing's probably one. Of, there's one of those stations like well, I. I don't know that well. <laughs> I know the other stations fairly well along this route, but Lansing is one I don't know as well. Um, cool, I feel. I feel like we've missed the um, Easter egg, whatever it was. You got there. Some people waiting at the uh, pub there. Little bits and bobs there, nice. So yeah, that is Lansing. Um, I suppose we might as well continue to Westworth and just see if there's anything along the line which we missed or which has been added and hasn't been mentioned. Let's head on along. It's not even that far to Westworth. So we'll continue our way along. Actually, yeah, we'll see if westworth has got any extra scenery, I suppose. I don't think it has, but we might as well have a look. It's not that far along, is it? So, so yeah, progress is coming on very nicely for the route. But I think we probably have missed the Easter egg. I wonder what it is. If anyone finds it, do comment below. What is the uh, British Ace Easter egg? Let's put that down. I'm sure we'll find it at some point. Or someone will find it and then they'll be like, oh, what's that? Then we come up to East Worthing. 
So yeah, I don't think any of this has been modelled yet, although West Worthing's been modelled. So yeah, we'll see if there's been any changes to West Worthing, which I suppose have gone, haven't been said. So we'll make our way along. Just to have a look, we'll have a, have a look to see if there is any, any changes, although I reckon there probably hasn't been. So this is East Worthing, so you can still see it's got the pillars there to mark the end of the uh, platform. And I think, yeah, I think the creator of this route actually has said he doesn't actually use the Google Maps overlay, which is quite impressive. But yeah, it's like quite convenient, like an API, and it's quite confusing to get it. Harder than it used to be. As we uh, make our way along, yeah, so almost missed that. Oh, I always press Q instead of, uh, instead of E. Yeah, this would then be Worthing Station, which we're coming through. Can't wait to see Worthing modelled. It's quite a, well, big-ish station. Well, an island platform and just a, a usual platform. And then into West Worthing, which we know has the scenery, but has there been any changes, which I suppose have gone unmentioned? Don't think so. No, I don't think so. Well, I think the level crossing was there before, wasn't it? Well, let's start popping the um, speed down. We don't want to speed right through it. Uh, we'll come to a stop. There you go, the express service to West Worthing. But it is good the original version 1 now goes to um, West Worthing. As originally it was only supposed to go as far as Worthing. Um, which in real life services do... They more often did before, but they do terminate at West Worthing peak times. I think there's like one or two services which terminate in the morning. Doesn't really matter where we stop. Pop it to a stop there, that will do. Possibly some little changes, maybe. When I get that is West Worthing. Well, that was a look at the West Coastway. That was version 1.7. Uh, I mean, 1.8 might be out by the time you're watching this. Um, yes, yeah, so the progress has come along nicely. We've now got Lansing, well, Shoreham to Lansing scenery to Shoreham Airport. Um, cab scenery, I should mention. So, scenery you can see from the cab. Um, but yeah, pop your thoughts in the comments below. Any feedback? Discord server, Ping George, let him know. Um, and yeah, links can be found in the usual places, Discord, PayPal, Merch Store. Apart from that, I hopefully will see you in the next one. See you all and take care. Bye, guys.